I'm Marie Fiorello. I'm the director of The Last Night of Ballyhoo at Playhouse 22. Ah, there's nothing wrong with good bloodlines. Maybe if you're breeding cock of spirit. I'm sure he's a lovely boy. Not very romantic. Well, Lala, let's face it. Clark Gable is probably not going to ask you to marry her. But somebody else just might. Who? Bernie Knockman. Oh, I wouldn't go around with him if I were you. Why not? His father picked his nose at his own wedding ceremony. Now, what has that got to do with anything? I was a bridesmaid. I saw it. The Last Night of Ballyhoo is a charming, romantic story about a family in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, 1939, December on the eve of the premiere of Gone with the Wind. This family uh, is very interesting. They are Jewish, but you would never know it. They have a Christmas tree. They have assimilated themselves into the Christian society. In comes a guy from New York, a Jewish man from New York, a young man, and he has an attraction to one of the girls in the family. And he starts to bring up the lack of their Jewish culture. So how can we try to camouflage it so much? Stop it! I think being Jewish means you need to run around in one of those little skull caps in a long white bed. Well, probably not in your case. I'm serious! It's wartime. Hitler has just invaded Poland. And I believe that these uh, German Jews in the South really don't want anybody to know that they're Jewish. So they have really assimilated very well into the society. And uh, I think that says a lot about that, uh, that time period. You have to sit through one of those boring things every single year. One night all the Ishkabibble was enough to last me the rest of my life. Now, Lala, be tolerant. I sit through two every year. First night at Aunt Sadie's and then second night at home. Poor baby. It's a comedy, but there's this serious undertone about inter-Judaic anti-Semitism. So basically that's what it's about. And the most important thing in their lives is who is going to take who to the last night of Ballyhoo, which is a big dance at the end of Christmas week that every young Jewish person who's anybody goes to. Now what you going to wait for? I was thinking the blue veil that I wore to David in the jeans way. Yes, it's packed upstairs in the cedar closet. I'll go get it out. Oh. You know, I wore blue the first time I went dancing with your daddy. <laughs> Mama! When I go out, go on upstairs and hang off that dress. You don't want to go to bed and smell like a moth ball. <laughs> We're ready for Friday and I'm very excited about it.